hey, you got to see this. Watch. Okay, watch. See how it starts? Well, even after this nice deep clean I gave it, I kind of detail everything. That's why it takes me so long. Uh, it wasn't working. So I thought, oh, dang, I have to call the Kenmore guy out. And I don't have any money. So uh, I watched a little YouTube video. And he showed me what some of the possibilities would be. Because this is a new stove, okay? The igniter should be working just fine. And guess what? It was clogged. <laughs> so after watching it, a little toothpick saved the day. But uh, I did this to my finger. You can't see it, but let me show you. Not the finger, but I'll show you what happened. I was polishing a floor, and a splinter went all the way down, almost to the end of the nail bed. And I didn't want to go to the ER and sit there. I'd be still there right now, probably, home at 3 in the morning. So I got a razor blade and gently cut all the way down into the nail bed. And it took me like an hour and a half, but I finally got the damn splinter out. It was in very deep. So, okay, so I got the floor done in here. Uh, doesn't that look nice now? Very nice floor. It was so dry when I lived in the room because I didn't use the right products. I, I just think that Murphy's oil soap just dries out everything. But I'm really pleased with the result. So this room's ready. And tomorrow my granddaughter's room will be ready. And I have just the freezer to do tomorrow. And I think that's it. Yeah, so after this little video here, after this, you'll see what happened earlier today. All right, bye. Hi, everyone. Well, we had another storm last night, so I had a big mess to clean up outside. Uh, but I didn't do any raking because my hands, my hands are screaming at me because I've been cleaning all day and they're stinging. I mopped this floor down here, the tiles, but I didn't do that great of a job because um, they're gonna be moving in and they're gonna just get everything messy. So I'm saving the stairs and, and the floor as a finishing job after they're all settled in. But my laundry room is a laundry room again. It had flooring in here and, and trim, and I gave the washer and dryer a bath, and also I had to clean the dryer duct, and boy am I glad I did. I pulled out a bunch of crap. No wonder my poor dryer is struggling. I hope it lives longer now. It's an important thing to do. Oh, I was going to, I don't have any blinds in here. I thought I had some. I still have a blinds problem. So, I wonder what happened to the old ones. Because I replaced these blinds and there should be some blinds. I do, I have some. I just don't know how to hang them back up. I just don't. This has to get locked. So I'm gonna try to get the blower started and blow the driveway out again. Packing pine needles, excuse me. But they're the death of me. There's just so many. And if I don't get them clean, 
then they're going to be going through my snow thrower. So I need to get that done. So the house is more of a home now. You know, I found some cupboard liners to put on these shelves, except for the bottom one, which is cardboard. And I found one for this one. I had to get rid of these rags. But yeah, we're all done. I got my art hung up on the walls because they brought some art and I want them to be able to hang their pictures. So I put my little Japanese Four Seasons art in here. I love these guys. I don't know why, but I do. It's kind of spooky sleeping with no blinds, knowing that we've got prowlers all the time. I just wonder if they look in and see me sleeping. And I don't want them to look in and see my granddaughter sleeping, because what if he's a sex offender? <coughs> I just need those blinds up. I need the floor sealed. I need money. So anyway, that's where I'm at today. Bye.